Hey everybody, my name is Colin Slaap, watchmaker from the Netherlands and today investing in vintage watches. A simple tale of supply and demand. Um, we get this question so often, please advise in what to buy in vintage watches. And I thought why not make a video about it and share my views, just my views with all of you. Um, and I would like to give you a bit more information so you can make a balanced decision of what you're going to do with your hard-earned cash. That's it. Um, a simple tale of supply and demand. And vintage watches. First, the term vintage watches got nothing to do with age. Vintage is a term from, the, from port. And that is in a decade, a 10 year period, a board uh, chose three vintages, vintage years, and they were the best quality of that decade. So it's not just it's old, so it's vintage, but it's vintage, so it's got a certain uh, quality already, the best of a certain period. So a vintage watch doesn't not every old watch is vintage it can be crap a lot of it is crap <laughs> i can tell you um so vintage has got a base quality cheers everybody like i said supply and demand if you're talking about vintage watches what we perceive as vintage at this moment is produced in a certain area era so there are no vintage watches coming in extra that vintage is that particular group of watches an contained supply the demand is skyrocketed and that's why they are so popular thus valuable vintage watches well um, they put on the water, uh, rust, uh, <laughs> get broke, get stolen. So the supply is getting less and less and less and the demand is huge. I want to tell you a bit more about the vintage watches and the investing in it. Because investing in vintage watches is not like the stock market that it pays dividend for your risk um, if you are able to sell your vintage watch in the future maybe a near future or future it is based on emotion the demand do they want this watch in the future so it's always speculation it is the, the moment of sale is based on the demand at that moment that is speculation i just want to make sure you make a balanced decision with your hard-earned dollars um, but it is valuable information that's why rolex is so hugely popular not because there is a low supply because from the latest uh, numbers they produce a million and a half units every year only the supply is artificial they put it on the market when the demand is high just a million and a half units every year that is about four thousand watches a day uh, 170 every hour just to give you a view because numbers are a bit abstract a spoon is just about the size of a wristwatch simply place 170 spoons in your house every single hour that is 4,000 spoons in your house every day uh, within a week it will be very hard to walk around in your house anymore um, and then you still have 51 weeks to go and that is what is being produced new uh, rolex is here over a century now 
all the watches that has been produced previously, most of them are still here. Same, you don't find a Rolls Royce in the scrap heap. Um, they survive because they are valued. Um, the amount just Rolex is staggering. But, and here's another top tip, and that is the demand part of investing. Rolex is just like international currency, independent international currency. Just like uh, here in the Netherlands, the sailors use a gold earring. So if they drown and their body washed up, the earring will pay for a Christian burial, just like the pirates. Same with Rolex. The value of a Rolex is being recognized all over the world. It is an international independent currency. And unfortunately, um, a lot of not too legal transactions uh, are paid that way. Because the demand is globally the same because every appreciates the value of that item. If you talk about it and think about it, the watch global uh, production is insane. I think a steel Rolex is just about $45 in material. But the added value of producing a watch, there aren't too many objects uh, with so much added value in just, and not the, 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 the uh, ground um, material. Maybe scent, uh, perfume, or maybe um, whiskey stuff like that but a watch is just skyrocket so we have watch investment which is speculation but still you can do it and uh, it's got a beautiful payoff at this moment as long as your watch has the vintage so that the quality and um, the demand, so that's a value and provenance. The quality of your watch will be determining if you have a return of investment in the future. That is based on originality. Do people worldwide recognize the value and provenance? Provenance is the history of a watch, uh, just like the, the Paul Newman uh, watch is insane in value because it was his watch with the inscrip inscription. Um, so provenance, does it have a beautiful history uh, that can be proven? Is it in excellent condition and original really important and a lot of the for example still rolex because that is uh, everybody recognized that uh, brand quite a few we get here then the client comes over hand me the watch and i see an original case i recognize an original dial hands crystal bracelet and then I open it and I see there has been rust in the watch case and there's a non-original or even replica movement on the inside the stuff you don't see as the normal collector and how can you if the case the dial the hands the crystal is all original and the bracelet but the inside, the star of the show, is the movement. 
that has to be perfect. So if you are going to invest in vintage watches, please, please, please check the inside um, either at a qualified watchmaker or a jeweler or you, can, or you can do it yourself because you don't have to be a watchmaker to recognize the quality. Or as an um, example I give most commonly, if you buy a car and you open the bonnet and you see the engine, even if you're not technical or mechanical and you see parts of the engine squeaky clean and the rest covered in oil, there is something going on. Or it's got a normal sheen and one part is completely shiny and new. That is not original, not part of the stuff. That originality, even provenance, is going to determine the demand of your watch in the future, thus the value and the return of investment. Please bear that in mind because we get here people, uh, clients who want me to value their watch uh, and some of them it is crap and I show them under the camera with the new counter and I don't even have to say what they see. They see it and they immediately recognize that's not what I expected or from this brand or stuff like that. Um, so simple supply demand by quality that is being recognized by a large amount of people. So the demand is up. The supply, yeah, make sure you buy the gems, the original gems and you will always get a nice return of investment. Please make a balanced decision uh, before you part with your hard-earned cash. Please leave in the comments um, maybe your experience in buying or selling watches. Um, yeah, what did the client, uh, your client, expect from your product? Um, really uh, want to hear that. All of you enjoy your evening. Please leave the comments and hit the like button. My name is Carl Slaap. See you. Bye bye.